Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to Crash Course Spine. In episode 10, we shall be rigging the helmet straps of our character. We shall start by giving this strap a mesh. We select the strap and enable the mesh checkbox. Then we click on edit mesh. From the tools menu, we select create. Now we draw out a simple mesh. We delete any unwanted vertices and hit space to apply the mesh. I feel that this mesh is a bit too simple. So I go back to the edit mesh mode and add a few more vertices to it. By doing this, the strap will have a smoother bend. We want to give this strap a mesh as well. Again, we can keep this mesh relatively simple. Once done, we can delete any unwanted vertices and hit space to apply our mesh. Now it's time to add weights to both these meshes. We select this strap and go to weights. Next, we click the bind button and select these two bones. We hit space and wait for spine to calculate how our selected bones will influence the mesh. By rotating this bone, we can see how the strap bends. I feel that the bend is too sharp in this case and needs some adjustment. We go to tools and click on weights. Next, we select our mesh. We now select these two nodes and then double click on the red bone to select it as well. By clicking and dragging, we can adjust the influence that the red bone has on our selected vertices. Now we select these two points and adjust the influence of the red bone on them as well. The point of adjusting these values is to achieve a smoother bend in our mesh. Now finally, we select these two points here and double click on the yellow bone to select it as well. We click and drag to adjust the influence of the yellow bone on these vertices until we get a much smoother bend for our mesh. Lastly, we click the bind button once more and select the helmet bone. We press space to commit. Now, once more, we shall go to our tools and select weights. This time, we select the top three vertices and then select the green helmet bone. We'll increase the influence of this bone to 100% on these three points. By doing this, the edge of our strap will stay in place when we add an IK constraint to these two bones later on. Now we select the smaller strap and go back to weights. We click on bind once more and select both the helmet bone and the helmet strap bone. We commit to our selection by hitting space. Now we go back to the tools menu here and select weights once more. Right now all the vertices on our mesh are under the influence of the red bone. We click on the helmet bone. Then we select these three nodes and increase the influence of the helmet bone to 100%. On these two points, we increase the influence to about 50%. Lastly, we select our two strap bones and return to the tree view. We go down here and click on New, IK Constraints, and we place an IK constraint near the tip of our helmet strap. As always, we give it a proper name. And now we can move this newly created IK constraint and see if everything works as it should. We can see that our helmet straps bend smoothly. And with that, our character is fully rigged and ready to be animated. This concludes Crash Course Spine. In this series, we've covered the basics of setting up and then rigging a project in Spine. If you found this series helpful, please consider leaving a comment below. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.